Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, I want to show you how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS back to iOS 4.1. So as you can see, I got a completely smashed one right here. So if I turn it up, it's coming apart. Can lift up this part. Okay, no, just kidding. So I don't want to downgrade this because there's no battery. It's completely smashed. But I'm going to downgrade this one. And this is like new. So as you can see, no scratches on the back. Just a little crack here that you can really see. I don't know if my camera can get it. No. So as you can see, this guy is running iOS 4.1. And today I will show you how to go back here so just jump in the settings you can see as 4.1 down here it's a 16 gig it's a new boot from this guy and for this method it doesn't matter if you're old or new boot from it will work for both so the only thing you need to do is go on your mac or windows it will work on both so you need to go to safari and search for IPSW and download 4.1 and then go on the on the shared doctor phone for iOS or Rayboot or something like that and just download it so that you can kick out your device out of recovery mode so you're not obligated to be on iOS 6.1.6 .6 to be able to downgrade but I recommend you to update and if you're on old firmware on an official not a downgraded version I would recommend you guys to do a SHSH blob for this software so yeah so I'll update this guy to 6.1.6 .6 and then I'll be back and show you how to do that see you later so guys I'm back and the device just was updated to iOS Six and yeah, so what you need to do right now is plug it in. So I'll dock it just like my other video. And um, if you have a broken power button on so and want to go into the DFU mode, I'll leave a link on the top right hand corner to show you how to do it. So Put the device here so you can see what it's doing and now we're going to launch iTunes click on here and first of all put the device in the few mode so you all already know how to do that so press and hold the power button until you see slight power off and then slide the power off. So once it's turned off, so I'm gonna focus more device. Hopefully my tripod hold. Because you need to know that there is a like I don't know how this is called, but one of these three legs is broken, so it's just stick with a bit of uh, oh shoot, with a bit of scotch. And uh, yeah, so. so once it's powered off, you're gonna click, press and hold for three seconds the power button. So one, two, three. For 10 seconds, the power and the home button. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And after 10 seconds, let go the power button. And keep pressing the home button. And normally that's 15 seconds, but now as you can see, iTunes said connecting the uh, connecting yeah the iPhone update server. Now click iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. So click OK. Then hold on the Option key on Mac and Shift on Windows. Click Restore iPhone. Now download and choose the 4.1 IPSW, click on open. So iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to 4.1 and will verify the restore with Apple. So click restore and yeah. 
should be good. So I'll speed up this portion of the video and see when it's done. So now as you can see the iPhone stuck on the recovery mode logo and iTunes said iPhone could not be restored an unknown error occurred 1015 so click OK click stop OK and now go out and now go on your download section and open Wondershare Dr. Phone for iOS so I'm opening open it right now and so extracting it okay so now it's moving it to applications and yeah so we should be good or I don't know Okay, there it is. So tap on it, open it. Yes, I want to open. I'll put the phone a bit more that you can see what's going on. Why does it open? Need a link. So close iTunes. And so close and now it is done data recovery and then click on restart the device so now the device should restart just like normal you can see the status bar and you should see the status bar so i'm taking out the sim card out of this guy so Now you can see that there's a status bar and the iPhone just boots normal. So I got out the SIM card. So now it's on the activation screen. Just unplug it. Take out SIM tray. Ooh, came out. And put in the SIM card. It's very dirty this SIM tray. So, and so put in the SIM card. Come on. Okay, perfect. Now it's in there. So there's no way to activate the device. So now open iTunes. And the device should be activated. In just a couple seconds here so you already can see that this is on iOS 4 because of this old um, okay the device is just activated as you can see uh, if one focus you can see that this thing is legitimately running iOS 4.1 if I just quickly jump in the settings about 4.1 16 gig and it's exactly the same iPhone no scratches nothing and yeah so that's it guys this is the way to downgrade your iPhone 3GS from any firmware to 4.1 so hope you like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to see more drop a comment if you have any such suggestions for other videos or follow my social network and direct message me on there and yeah, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and peace out.